Hello everyone, this is Russ with RWG Research and uh, today I'm recycling. Uh, it's also scrap day for the city uh, today and all week and some of next month. So what I'm going to be doing is going around looking for old TVs, taking out the magnet wire. You got to do what you got to do and uh, I got to do it. I don't have enough wire. So uh, what else I'm going to show you today is transformers. This is a how-to video. How to take apart transformers. Um, this one comes apart pretty easy. Lucky me. So first thing I'm going to do is move all my stuff. All right. Battery backups. UPS systems. Okay. We've got transformers in them, batteries in them, MOSFETs in them, switches, a few other electrical parts. This is where I get all my MOSFETs actually, right there. There's a lot of them. So uh, real quickly, I'm gonna disassemble this real fast. Ready? There you go. That didn't take very long, did it? I got switches, I got uh, breakers, I got outlets, I got MOSFETs, I got transformers. One UPS. Okay. Screws are always good to hang on to. Now I got uh, four more to do. I'll be back. Alright, so I got everything taken apart. I took apart four UPSs, smaller ones, in about a. 10 to 15 minutes didn't really take that long I already had one disassembled and already ready to go um, and then I did four just now in about 10-15 eh, minutes uh, some people ask me like maybe where I get all my stuff at uh, well this is where I get it check this out four four UPS's okay this is what I got circuit boards with lots of good stuff on them now there's four MOSFETs on here on each one of these they're probably IRF 44Z or in or whichever one they are. Alright, there's four of them on there, so that's four, six, eight, ten, twelve with the fifth one. So there you go, there's where I get all my MOSFETs at. Um, circuit breakers. These look like uh, 5 amp, 250, or 250 volt, 5 amp AC, 5 uh, amp at 32 volt DC. Little breakers, those are nice to have. It's actually what I got right here. Same thing, my power supply. Okay, and then uh, switches. These are toggle switches with a neon bulb in them for them. Uh, these are both toggle, one way, one way, automatic centering for those outlets and my transformers. Now, this is where I'm going to get my magnet wire from. On these transformers, there's actually this much wire. Um, I don't know what size it is, probably like a 22. And then there are two sets of this much wire that looks like an 18 or even a 14 it's pretty big stuff um, but I'm going to show you how to take this transformer apart now alright here we go alright so the first thing you need to know some of these transformers have screws in them being held together alright and some of them have rivets alright that actually holds this core together these are actually layered iron uh, pieces of iron layers and what that does is it helps the magnetic core collapse faster if than if it was just one solid piece uh, like ferrite can be one solid piece because it collapses quickly so you can get a higher frequency with ferrite and not iron but uh, that's actually why they're like that all right so I'll show you how to get these rivets out obviously the screws are pretty easy okay guys one thing I recommend is a vice hammer screwdriver drill and drill bit for the rivets all right um, you can get these out another way but rivets always drilling these out seem like they're the best if you get an oversized drill bit all right get an oversized drill bit all right and just drill right over top that rivet into a problem already
drill bits are slightly too big for this, but that's okay. Finish this one. There we go. Yeah, it needs a little bit more. Alright, pop them rivets out of there. Just like that. See how they drilled right off there? It's the easiest way I've found a way. Any way to get the rivets off. Now they do start spinning. You just keep on drilling and kind of walk around with the drill bit and it'll it'll come out. Alright. One thing you can do makes this maybe a little bit easier is uh cut the wires off. So I'll get this set up here in a second. There we go. Get this tight. Just cut the wires off. You don't need them anyway. That's done. All right, now the best thing that I found out, and you can do this a couple ways. One way you can do it is stick this sucker corner to corner in your vise, and my vise isn't big enough for this. So what I'll do is just take the bottom half of the transformer and put it in here. Okay, and kind of smash it. You hear it break? See that? Fold it all them over. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. And if that don't work, you can hammer it. Just take a hammer, pry around on the on the corners. Okay, like that. And then uh, basically the first one's always the hardest. But you can see there's a plate right here. Just take that plate tap it out nice and easy okay I recommend wearing gloves these are sharp I should probably put mine on alright now I'm just gonna pull this first plate out alright there you go so there's the first that's always the hardest one from there You just keep going. There are two different plates in here. Um, one is for the end. So you've got this one right here. Okay, which is a single plate. And then you've got the full long plate. Here. Alright, and that makes up one layer. That's the way most transformers are. You got one laid this way, one laid this way, one laid this way, and they just keep going back and forth, and that makes up the layers of a transformer. Now, a lot of the times they glue these together, or they're dipped, and they, they get glue in there, and they're really hard to get apart, so I don't normally recommend taking these apart, but this one is um, not the best built, I guess. Alright, so here we go, a little fast pace. Ready? Let's take this all the way apart. Okay. So there you go. One nice core. Now you can use this core. If you don't cut the wires off, you can use this core for whatever you want as an air coil. Um, but I am going to unwrap the wire off of it and use it for my EPG primary coil pulser. pulser. And the big wire is going to be for the pickups. Alright. So, I hope that helped. Um, I got stuff floating everywhere in my shop. The only thing I can really tell you that will help you is the more you bend these and the more you twist these, and as you saw, I was taking a screwdriver in the corner and prying left and right. The more you bend these up, 
the more they break apart, the easier they'll come out. Um, every once in a while, or actually most of the time, most of the transformers I've taken apart, you had to literally beat one plate off at a time, one at a time, one at a time. It takes a long time. This transformer company um, built these well for me. Lucky me. So, um, there you go. I will, um, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and unwrap this wire so you can see what kind of wires on here. pop this part. This paper stuff's real pain in the butt to get off. So sometimes you can tear it. I got a trash can right next to me. I'm just throwing all this stuff right in the can. If you have some solvent, you can just let this sit in a tank of solvent for a while and it will loosen up the tape and it's easier to get apart I wouldn't recommend cutting this stuff off and this stuff's nasty it's been dipped and it's like little fibers and they really get itchy if you're, if you're not careful I would recommend wearing gloves although I'm not All right, there's my secondary. Actually, that's probably my primary of this coil. 120 volts in, uh, 24 volts out, and a half tap for um, half that, so six volt or so. Because what this does is this charges the uh, batteries in the UPS, keeps them charged. So it's 120 volt in for America here, and uh, usually 12 volt out for these smaller UPSs are only 12. It's actually more like 16 or 18 volts, but uh, when they're loaded, they're right where you want them for charging those batteries. This is some big wire on this first wrap. Big old stuff. Didn't take too long to get this transformer apart. I'm going to go ahead and just cut these wires so that I can get them apart easier. Oh, watch it guys, it might get hurt. That's why I got my safety glasses on. These aren't the best pair of crimps, I need new tools. Or, uh, cutters. Alright, so now I can bend these away a little easier here. Get this top layer of tape off. Again, if you dip this in solvent, even after you pry this all apart, it, it works a lot better. It kind of eats away some of that stuff. I let it sit in there for days sometimes. Just let that solvent eat into this. Look at that nice wire. Yeah. Some big stuff. Now, sometimes they do coat these. They dip them. It's another reason I don't like transformers. This stuff I'm just going to unroll because there's not a whole lot on it.
I'll run it through my wire stripper cleaner upper dealio jig I made. It's like Christmas colors. So there you go. There's a nice bit of really heavy gauge magnet wire. And another layer of tape. Lovely. There you go. So there's red and green, about this much wire, and a smaller gauge wire, red one, about that much. That's what's on this spool right here. This is after I ran it through my cleaner upper, magnet wire cleaner, stripper cleaner, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, there you go. Nice bit of magnet wire. Again, I, I don't really like transformers. They're kind of a pain in the butt. But, what can I say? It's all I got. Working in the skimps here. Gotta do what I gotta do. Alright, my website will be up real soon. If you'd like to donate towards my research so I can spend less time uh, doing this kind of stuff and more time building things, you can donate to me. Um, send money to PayPal RWG42985 at AOL.com. You can also contact me there. Or I have a parts list that you can send uh, individual parts that I need. Um, the wire that I'm using here will actually go this core. I got all five coils on here, but this uh, there just isn't enough magnet wire on here to fully make this core saturated to the point that I like it. So I'll be wrapping each one of these will be going on each one of these and uh, that should be plenty. A little bit bigger magnet wire, a little bit more uh, current I can run through it. There you go! Alright, I gotta run. It's time to go find some TVs on the side of the street. It's got an awesome amount of magnet wire in them. Hopefully nobody uh, gets mad at me for doing that. But uh, Oh well, this is Russ with RWG Research. Look for that website real soon. See you guys. Have a good one.